Well, this evening, hundreds honored late radio DJ Jerry Blavitt by renaming a portion of Broad Street after him. CBS Philadelphia's Carrie Corrado has more on the event celebrating the life and legacy of the man known as the boss with the hot sauce. It was an energetic and high spirited dedication. Jerry Blavitt's family says when they saw the sign, it was a surreal and emotional moment for them. Bringing the dance moves and music to Broad Street in the name of the big boss with the hot sauce. The block party was a part of a dedication ceremony to honor the life of Jerry Blavitt. The city renamed a section of Broad Street along the Avenue of the Arts in honor of a legendary DJ. I'm happy to announce on behalf of the city of Philadelphia that this portion of Broad Street, as you can see, will now be renamed Jerry Blavitt Way. So when we drove up and I saw it, I started to cry. I am so proud of my father. My dad loved the city of Philadelphia, and as you can see, the city of Philadelphia loved him back. The Geeter with the Heater always had everyone on their feet, and this crowd didn't disappoint. Together, I watched some spin records above his garage. But when you listen to Jerry and just hearing him talk, Everybody was excited about it. Everybody would be happy. Everybody would stop, stand up and dance. The energy and spirit was high Wednesday night as the crowd danced the night away to oldies music. Well, that was my dad. He was larger than life. And his spirit shined through everything he did, everything he said, and through all the people that he met. He belonged to the people. And somebody once asked him, how do you know everybody's name? And he said, because I really, really want to. Blavitt died in January at the age of 82, but his legacy will forever live on. This is amazing, but Jerry would be looking down and smiling about this. But this is amazing. Blavitt was inducted into the Philadelphia Music Hall of Fame in 1993. The celebration of his life will continue in Margate this weekend. On Broad Street, Kerry Corrado, CBS News, Philadelphia.